Hello everybody, how's it going? Well, back to another Minecraft episode. So today, I'm trying to get these villagers shipped over to their new home. So basically, um, I can show you the footage. Um, it's right here. Alright, so now that you saw that, you know that I got two zombie villagers. Oh, is he finally coming out? I think he is. Yes. Come on, guy. Oh, he walked over the... Mm. Alright. Where is he going? No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, okay. Okay, he is discounted. That's good. Alright, so I don't want you to be a fisherman. Hey, no, 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 no. You get back here. Oh, no, I've definitely lost all of my cards. Oh, I hate that glitch. <laughs> you break the minecart, you break the... You break the... Rail, too. Come on, guy. Yes! 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 You're in the minecart! Yes! Okay. That took so long. Might need a furnace minecart to do this job. I don't have enough rails either. Hmm. It's quite a ways. Might need to show you guys what I got set up so far. Or I could just make powered rails, but I'd rather not. Um, so yeah, we got the two villagers. Um, so basically what I want to do with that is start... So basically I recorded this whole episode about how I was about the copper oxidization, which by the way does not work in spawn chunks, people. It doesn't. So don't tell me that. It's, it's a myth about copper. So, yeah. Um, uh, just gonna have to keep doing this. Oh, good, he lost his trade. That's good. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to ship villagers over through the nether. You know, that's a big pain in the butt. Basically, I'm trying to get them over into these, like, little cells over here. So that way... I can get them to basically I'll, they'll be like this and when I'm ready to trade with them I'll go like this oh we need blocks here I don't want them getting confused which bed is theirs either uh, or maybe I'll make it so that way when it's daytime although no because if there's a baby zombie with armor they'd be able to get in but basically when I'm ready to trade I open them up and I trade with them it's not very humane but you know it is what it is um, and yeah, so I'll basically, uh, eventually get this set up into a breeder. I built this really cool house in creative mode, not in this world, in a different world, creative world. And I really like how it looks, except the problem is it, um, it's in creative mode. So, and it took way, it took like an hour to build like half of it. So I was like... And I'm not done yet, so that's why I said half of it, and uh, it took it two hours to build, you know. Basically, I want to try to get them to start having babies, too, so that way we can get more. I'll probably make the majority of them into librarians, um, I think. Right, I don't want you to escape, 
So you go there. Actually, no, you go there. And the minecart got away. Oops, that was my butt. My bad. I'll put a slab under you. No, no, slab. Yes. Okay. Now I put down minecart. Now I push you into it, and you should get in it. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, once it starts moving at a certain speed, they usually get into it, so that's good. Yeah, I'm just going to set up a... I'm just going to get a bunch of rails, um, probably from a mine shaft, maybe. Or I might just craft them. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to craft a full bunch of rails. But yeah, I was really happy with how lucky I got with this, being that, like, the two... Um, I was trying to get phantoms to spawn, right? And I had these two... Let's see which way... That way's north, so it's going to go that way. Or it's going to go that way. But it's on a slope, so it should go back down. That's good. Oh. Uh, but anyway, so there's two zombie villagers. They came, like, 20 minutes apart or so. Like, I don't think it was a whole night or what, but I don't really remember that well. But um, basically, why is this here? All right. Um, I just got them, and I trapped them in a hole, and... I cured him, and basically, it was really good because I was like, perfect, and I don't have to... And like, th these are like the first nights that I've actually spent outside intentionally and not just gotten stranded away from my bed and not be able to get to it because there's a creeper near it or something like that. Um, let's see, get to this. Um, so basically, I was really, really lucky with how that worked out, so... Um, yeah, I'm really glad about that. So yeah, this guy is the this guy's the armor, I think. So try to get him into the right spot. So do we want to use a frames mine cart? I know they're super weird, so I don't really want to try to figure out how they work. Uh, I might use one though, because this is really slow. Okay. Here you go. Here you go down the hills. Awesome, it went the right way. Perfect. Alright. Make sure you go to the right spot. Alright, I'll stop you there so that way you don't go in the wrong spot. Alright, let's see, you get the levers. So the first guy, that guy's the armor, so we want the rail to go this way. Alright. There we go. And then we'll switch it when he comes back through. Alright. Alright, so one thing I'm curious about is how... So, say they get zombified, will they... Um, continue to... Like, will they be persistent? Will they not despawn? Or will they despawn once... Or so perfectly. Let's see. After B... No, don't try to get out. Oh, I should have brought ender pearls. Alright, uh, bed. Yes. Fit. Put that in. I can't fit. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, at least I didn't hit him. Let's see, can I place this behind him? No, because he's over here. Let's see. No. You gotta come this way just a little bit more, guy. Don't you want to walk this way? You know what? We'll just do that. Actually, no. Why did it let me place it there? That's weird. Okay. Let's see. Let's try to place the bed again. It should be... I don't know why he wouldn't be... Okay, let's see. Can we get him to... No, no. Let's see. Is he all the way up against the block? Why wouldn't he be letting me place the bed there? Yeah, he's like partly on the glowstone block, so all we have to do is put a rail here, so that way we can nudge him this way just a little bit. Oh, perfect. Okay, he actually moved on his own. Alright. Let me put the bed in behind you. Excuse me. Put the bed in. There we go. I don't know if we need the bed or not, but it's just better to have it. <clears throat> Alright, let's go get the next guy. Alright, this should be pretty easy. I guess we can turn off hitboxes now. That was on for quite a while. Let's see, can you make it 
up these hills on your own guy? Probably not. Better help him. Uh, oh, I forgot to switch the lever. I think we should be able to beat him there once we get to... Yeah, this next spot's gonna be a little bit fast, but I think we should be able to beat him. Oh yeah, we're fine. Here he comes. Switch. Oh no! What? Uh-oh. That glitched out. Did glitch out. Why is it not switching? Okay. <laughs> Do I need to update it? No. Do I need to power it? Is it not working? Oh, you know why? Because I removed the rail. Let's see, how can we get this guy out of this block now? Oh, there we go. No, 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 no. Don't you go that way. That took me a hot minute to figure out what the problem was. I was like, why isn't it letting me place? Alright, so we take out the rails. I think we're going to do it this way this time. Let's see, we'll do this, and then we'll put the bed in. That way I can get out. Oh, I can't fit, though. I'll just do this. Alright, so now he shouldn't be able to get out. Pretty sure. Now we hit F3B. Hit boxes. Oh no, he can get out. Oh, wait, no, I think he just glitched out. Okay. So let's do that. Yeah, now he shouldn't be able to get out. Alright, so now they should be all good to go. Oh, we gotta put this guy's block in. Alright. I don't know why that wasn't there. Alright. So now we can trade with them. Okay. So that's a good discount. What do you have? Oh, yes. Okay. So these guys will actually sell me diamond armor. And probably for pretty cheap because I did cure him from a zombie villager. So that's good. If we can get... Cheaper prices? That's better. Um, I want to see if maybe we can hook up a system that will zombify them automatically. So maybe we drop a zombie in on them. Oh no, I'm stuck now. Oh, this is bad. Don't escape, guys. Do not escape. No, 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 no. No, no. What do you think you're doing? you got to live here forever now. Okay? You understand? Actually, no, you get, you guys get to be let out eventually, but not yet, okay? I actually do want to do some trading with them just to lock in their trades. Although I also want that glass block back. Or not that glass, but the... There we go. Uh, I'm not sure if baby zombies can get them through here. I kind of doubt it. Uh, let's see. It doesn't say prevent mob spawning inside. I've never noticed I just saw a creeper, like, right there, and I was like, what? Excuse me. No, no. Why is there a creeper? Huh. Alright, so I'm not actually sure they're able to go to bed. So, I'm not sure that's a problem, though. So, we might just leave it the way it is. Um, I don't think it'll be a problem, but I, I have beds in there just for one, so it counts as a valid, like, they can valid, validly? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, validly, um... Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to go to bed because it is pretty late. Doesn't, yeah, they haven't gone to bed yet, so that's not good. Uh, but basically, we do want to see if... We do want to have beds for them just so that way uh, uh, we can make more villagers eventually. And yeah. Uh, the reason I want to keep these guys is because I de-zombified them, essentially. So I should have let it go night so that I could do it again. Because you get really good discounts if you do that. So definitely want to do that if possible. Um, but anyway, I also got three music discs in the last episode. Um, two of them were the same one, but one of them was different. I got two wards and also Stal. Um, is that my question? I just checked in there. I'm getting all my zombie flesh just so I can trade it with this guy. Um, I think you could probably get it down to one or two, which is really, really good. Um, I don't know, though, so I'm not going to... I'm going to tr probably try to zombify these guys and cure them over and over again to see. I think I heard that one to three is... Oops, going too far over. Uh, one to three is the most discounts you can get. Like, if you zombify them three times... Uh, 
and cure them three times. Obviously, you got. Why did he switch trades? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll do that. All right, so that he's locked now. I think it's because they can't see the thing 100% of the time for some weird reason. Uh, but yeah. Oh, man. So now they should be locked in because I did trade with them, so that's good. Um, yeah. Uh, I do want to try to get that mending guy over here. If we can. Because that would be really useful to have him over here. Also, the guy that trades sticks. I think you can... I think you could get it down to one or two sticks per emerald too, which is insane. That's like one wood plank per emerald, so it's like really good. Huh. I actually made an infinite cobblestone source. Oh, so that was getting annoying. There we go. Yeah. I don't know why I took that away. Alright, so we should come out right by our village. Oh, we're in a cave. Oh, we're right under the village also, that's good. Uh, let's sleep away the night. Whoa, lag. Okay. Alright, so now let's get the villager through the portal. Let's see, I put my rails away, unfortunately. I don't have iron on me. I'm gonna go back and get more rails. Somebody's down. Oh man, this guy couldn't make it easier. He already knows what we're we're up to. He's like, yeah, I want to go to your village thingy. Yeah, we're basically gonna wipe out this village though. So, oh. yeah, and there's like lava in between the two places. Whoa, that gives me the blast. Yeah, like there's like this. So maybe if we dig this out a little bit, this lag is scaring me. Okay. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> that was the best possible fix for that. Yes, definitely. Uh, so basically, we just have to get them from here to this portal. So maybe if we like blocks around here and then we put glass blocks here, this will all make sense in just a second. Actually, no, we need those glass blocks to block out. So let's just do this. And then we'll put a glass block there. Alright, so now we're going to lay rails going from from here. Oh, I didn't think of this. Okay, let's put blocks here. Actually, let's do that. Put the block here. Place. There we go. Oh, I put... How did I do that? <laughs> that must have been a bug. Uh, but yeah, so I'll put like that. And then I can go under. And then I can go through. There we go. I guess. Goodbye. Okay. Now we get rid of the piglins because we don't want them threatening the villagers in any way. Oh, is that a zombie pigman I just killed? Probably not because they have... See, like, this is so weird. They see me from, like, so far away sometimes and then other times they don't even see me. It's so weird. Also, these bones have been here forever, so I'm guessing they don't always despawn after five minutes. Either that or the nether isn't loaded as nearly as much as I thought. Like, I thought it stays loaded for, like, a minute after you leave. But I might be wrong about that. Let's see, if I ride this, this is safe. This is scary. Right. Oh, boy. Okay. A little bit scary. Because the screen went black there, so it's like I took damage even though I didn't. Alright, so yeah, I think we should be safe to let the villagers go through here, obviously. Yeah, so everything... Oh, that's going to be bad, though. So we're going to put a block here so that the cart doesn't go through there. Alright. So yeah. So that's why we put the glass block there. Because once they're in this room, I don't want them to leave it. So yeah. And... Oh man, I wasn't looking at my screen. I was looking down or something. And I didn't realize I walked right by the lava until after I did. It's like, oh no. Okay, let's put the cart down. They shouldn't go on their own because it's a regular cart and not a... Or a regular rail and not a powered rail. No way, is that a geode? It is. Unbelievable. Oh man, there's a geode right here. I didn't even know this was here. Alright, where is that guy at now? He might have climbed out. Alright, found him. 
So let's get them into the minecart here. So if I put this down. All right, let's get them into the minecart. Come on, guy. There we go. So let's do this. Oh, we can't do it on grass pot, so okay. Let's see. And then... Good, we didn't take damage. All right, so now all we have to do is... Let's see, I think if we put blocks here... Then we do rails here... Then he shouldn't be able to escape once he gets down. Well, I guess if we go like that, then anyway. What did I just say? Okay. Um, and then let's put a block here. Or a rail there. So, F3B. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't think of that. I... You got me, guy. I did not think of that. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, he got out of my hole. In the same spot that I got out in. I did not think of that. Because he should go back to his workstation, which is my car right next to it, right? Oh, this is so perfect. He got stuck in a cave, guys. He got stuck in a cave. So we're just going to block this off. We're going to let him out. There we go. He should go to the bed. Or not. Where are you off to? He goes through the portal. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? No, you don't. No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, now I sleep. He walked on the rail. I did not think of that. I'm, like, missing everything today. I'm just so stupid. Ugh. Alright, so I got it. So the only place he should be able to go is into the portal. Aww. Perfect! Alright. Awesome. So now all we have to do is get him back through here. Yeah, I did leave the minecart in here. I, I was hoping it wasn't going to drop item more. Alright, let's hope you make a safe trip, guy. If not, I will be very, very sad because you are a master. You are the master Fletcher. You're the only one in this whole world. Aww. How does that feel? You're like the best in the whole world. You're like the, the, um, I don't know anyone who's good at anything. You're like the Beethoven, but of fletching. Yes, that made sense. And no one better question it in the comments. Actually, please do question it. I want to see what, what your opinions are on what I just said, because that was pretty controversial or something. I don't know. And I did not think this through very well because he's gonna run wild once he gets through. Although if I have a bludgeon table, he shouldn't go too far. But I don't have one, so. Here, let's get that set up. No way! I think he just found his way back to the village. Oh no. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? What? No! This guy is too smart. No, 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 no. I'm trapping you in a hole. And you will never get out. No, you will never get... You cheater. You cheated. I'm not happy about this. He knows his way back. This is unbelievable. It's like 200 blocks away. Alright. This is the last straw, guy. No, 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 no. He got out. This is really bad. Okay, I should have just let him go back because now he's already three quarters of the way back. So this is really pointless. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Uh, if I build another portal, will it link up to the village one? I kind of hope so. Okay, well, I'm going to just trap you here because otherwise you might get eaten by a zombie, which wouldn't be bad because then you get cheaper trades, but I do need a torch so that way it's fine. There we go. So when I see this, I'll know what it's for. <laughs> I can't believe he knew his way back. That was insane. I should have broke his fletching table, actually, is what I should have done. Because then he would accept this as his new home. Alright, so now go back. Alright. Take the minecart with me. Also break the rail in the process because that made sense. Hello. 
you are my best librarian and possibly my only one right now. Actually, no, you're not, but you are definitely my best one because you sell me mending books and that's very important. So you are going to come and live with me and it's going to be wonderful and you'll never be able to escape even though you want to. Probably not because why would you want to? Because your life is going to be perfect. Uh huh. Yeah. Wait, can we get him through this corner here? I can't doubt it. No. Yeah. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I need to fix that too because it wants to go sell it. So, there we go. No, oh, there we don't go. Why is it not working? There we go. Then. Are you gonna go? Oh, can I not? Why can I not watch the car? Oh, seriously? I still can't nudge the cart? Wow. Really? Also, this is really weird. I'm actually really surprised. What if I use... I don't have knockback. Okay. Yeah, no. This isn't gonna work. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what to do, guys. Oh, I guess he won't actually go up here unless... No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Why are you... Did you just change trades? What's going on? Sell particles. No, you're still mending. Okay. Things good so far. Now, we're not going to make the same mistake we made last time. We're going to put rails here. And then... You, know, you shouldn't be able to go anywhere, right? It's like the only place you can go is through the portal. So we're going to break the cart. F3B hitboxes. Alright. Get you through the portal here. I did not want to spend all my episode moving villagers, but this is what we had to do, guys. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, you're right here. Maybe if I nudge it into him and then I push it the other way, no, it's still the same. same result. Oh, now I can knock back a minecart. That made sense. Uh -huh. Okay, now we got it. Alright. Now I'm not going to let you out until... Until we got everything all set. I'm going to make a waiting room on the other side. Oh man, don't nudge me into lava. You're worth it though. You are worth it. I would die in lava for you. And lose everything except my netherite tools. Because you actually are worth it. There we go. Don't you... Oh, no. So now all I have to do is make a little waiting room on the other side here. Okay, he just took damage. I'm a little worried now. Uh, don't know why he took damage, but okay. Alright, now go through. Now I get the cart ready. I don't think the other side of the portal loads for more than a split second. I feel like if it does, it loads weird. Because it's like doing weird things on it. Alright. jumping in his face. Whoa! Okay. Oh, it's, why did I do it like that? Alright. Let's see if he makes it. Oh, I think he will. Oh, I think he actually pushed himself. I bet he did, because he was trying to find his workstation. So. Let's see, can we... Can I break this? Let's see. Oh, what a troll. What a troll. No, 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 no. Okay. I just blocked myself in. No, 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 no! What are you doing? Oh. Where is he going? Where are you going? Oh, no, 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 no. No. I think he's trying to go back to his village. No! No! Oh, I feel cheated right now. Oh, man. Oh, no, 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 no. What? Did he just walk over a rail? That is not allowed. You cannot walk over rails. What is going on? This guy is... He walked over a rail. Look at that. Where is he off to? 
what is going on? He's like determined to go somewhere. And it's not to this village. Where is he? Okay, I was like right there. What is so special about that spot right there? Where is he going? Alright, I'm gonna let the zombies get him because Oh, he's going to bed. Oh, okay, so that's the problem. I just don't have a bed there. Okay. That is an easy fix. Alright, I'm gonna let the zombies get him so that way I can discount his trade. Um, do I have wool? I hope I do. If not, I'm gonna regret not bringing that shepherd villager over. Come here, zombies. It's a zombie tasty villager. Not a zombie villager. Tasty villager. I did not think he would get out of bed. Oh boy. I should have slept away the night. Oh, and I don't have armor on. I have a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. Can we trap this guy? No. I get trapped instead, though. Of course. Oh boy, I'm gonna die. And I haven't set my spawn. This is bad, guys. Alright, let's get out of here. No, 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 no. Okay. Now pillar up. And sleep. Look at them! They're just like... Oh, man. That's so annoying. Alright, pillar up and sleep. Okay. I just gotta hope that he doesn't get set on fire by the zombies. Come for me. Jumps down with already low health. That made sense. Oh, I thought they had a creeper. Oh boy. Don't go in the water. Alright. I think if we start placing down his workstation between here and there, he should find it. I hope. There's a snake right here. See it? I saw that and I was like, is that a snake? Took me a good second, and I was like, oh, it's it's Minecraft, there's no snakes. Okay, I think he's finding his way back on his own. That's good. Just have to make sure that he has no way to path find to it, um, except for the one way. The one way, that makes sense. Yeah, so basically, we want him to go in here, walk up here, and then drop down in there. And that, that'll work for Okay, it looks like he might do that. It's obstructed. Yeah, it looks like he's doing that. Alright. Oh, no! What? That... Mmm. Alright. Okay, why does he not... Why does he not want to be trapped? Alright, let's see if this fixes it. And yes, they just said fix his hand and that fixes it. Does he not want to drop three blocks? Is that the problem? Or does he want a way out? Yes! Okay. Alrighty. That took way more time than it needed to. Let's make that solid for now. I just heard a zombie. Where is he? Okay. Might be underground. Let's try to get that Fletcher back now. Actually, I don't even need that there. Let's see. If he gets eaten by a villager, or a zombie, if he gets, yes, that makes sense. Uh, if he gets eaten by a zombie, it's fine, because, yeah, because <laughs> then I can cure him. All right, let's go get that Fletcher back. This is going to be like an hour long. Okay, well, that took a very long time to find him. I'm hoping if I just put this here, find his way to it, right? Perfect. Okay, so now if I just keep breaking it and moving it... Where are you going? Where is he going? Okay, no more. That's good. Uh, I'm guessing if I just keep breaking and placing it a little bit closer each time, he should eventually find the other one. Let's try this. I'm just going to break this and see what happens. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Uh, yeah. Not finding it. How is he able to locate his fletching table from there all the way to there, but from here to there, he's not. 
That was a lot of here's and there's, but I could come up with a complicated or complicated or yeah, sure. way of saying it, but I'm not gonna. I actually, you know what? I'm gonna. He was able to make it from to find it from point A to point B, where point A to point B distance. From, wait, what? <laughs> the distance from point A to point B is greater than the distance from point B to point C, but yet he can't find his way to point C. I don't know. I give up. It's too confusing. Alright, let's see. Is he coming? There he is. Alright, is he going to the fletching table or the bed? Fletching table or the bed? Going to the fletching table. Okay. So now, we're going to... Let's see, is he farming it? Let's see, let's move this fletching table. Is he on his way? It looks like he's looking at it. What is he doing? Where did he just go? Ah, uh, dude, where did you go? I was there. Okay. Villager parkour. Alright, come on, guy. Go down there. Oh, he probably doesn't want to take fall damage. Okay. Come on, guy. What are you doing? Oh, is he able to... Oh, he's able to access it diagonally. Really? Let's do this for now. Alright, let's see if he can get out. I don't think he will, unless he's trying to get to bed. Seems that they, for some weird reason, walk over blocks and they want to get to beds, which doesn't really make sense, but okay. Oh, that took way, way, way longer than it needed to. Oh, it took way too long. I'm not even joking, this took several hours to do. We gotta get beds in for these guys. So, I figured out why I need beds. Um, yes I do. Uh, it's so that way, when you're trying to get them in here, they won't, like, half find the wrong place and stuff like they kept doing just now. So that's, that's the whole reason for that. I'll, if, I'll eventually infect the last two, uh, what am I saying? <laughs> Last two villagers to try to get them to have cheaper trades. The mending villager and the... Which we have to be really careful about. By the way, guys, this only works in hard difficulty, so please don't try this in medium difficulty or easy difficulty, where in easy, they will die, and you won't get your villager back. And in medium, there's a 50% chance they'll die. In hard, there's a 100% chance you'll get a zombie villager. So that's the only difficulty where it'll actually work in. And we are in... Our difficulty so just so you guys know and also I don't switch to peaceful anymore that was a first episode thing that was the only time I've done that I haven't done it since the first episode um, I thought you guys would be happy to know that I haven't been cheating since the one time I did cheat so yeah so yeah basically I'm gonna stand here I'm gonna craft all the I'll do something like this and do that then craft all the sticks I can like this actually you can you know I can do it twice as fast. Alright, like that and like that, which wasn't very many, but you know what I mean, and like this. And then I go like this. And there's an easy way to do this. You do it like this. Alright, so there we go. Now I'm gonna try to get my grass blocks back. Got the XP. Got the grass blocks and the dirt blocks back. There we go. Close them in. Block there just because. This took me like four hours to record, so please don't complain that it's a long video because it took me a long time to do, so that's why it's a long video. But thank you for watching this if you have gotten this far, so I really appreciate that. I guess you probably wouldn't be one of the ones to complain that it's a long video. If you do complain it's a long video, I'll know that you probably didn't watch it all the way through. So yeah. So, thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day. Callous and Capulous Modem Tardum. See you guys hopefully tomorrow. I don't know how quickly. It takes me a lot less time to record episodes than it does to get them out. So, see you guys all in the next episode, and goodbye.